Hi everyone, so I got some dunnies in the mail, 8 inch K Robot dunnies. So we're going to be doing these commissions. In this video, I'm going to be doing Stitch. I did a SpongeBob in my previous video, so links in the description. Be sure to go check that out. Here it is, all primed up, ready to go. Now I'm going to add some spray paint. And since we're doing Stitch, I'm going to get some blue spray paint using um, Montana. Spray paint, it's like a matte finish, really nice. Let's get some spray caps. Um, right now, I'm just, I don't even know what's in here. I think there's fat and skinnies and some of the standard ones that come with the iron lac. And I just picked one. As long as I'm gonna get some spray action going on, it doesn't really matter because I spray from a distance. Make sure you mist it on. If you come too thick, it's gonna start to drip. Let it mist on, it'll dry within seconds, and then you come in with a second coat, and then you're gonna have a nice matte finished piece. So, I laid down stitch design real simple, nothing too complicated um, with pencil. So, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and if you have, thank you. Comment, like, and share. Let me know your thoughts on this piece. There go some Kirobot Dunnies on their website. Here's some that I've done in the past of Star Wars theme. Here's a collaboration I did with another artist. Um, here's a Kirobot Money. If you go to Kirobot's website, they have tons of designer art toys. They're not a toy that you would find, like I guess, in Walmart Toys R Us. Their artists created works of art. You know, I have my own original characters and design, and I've created original sculptures throughout the years. So Kirobot was is a company that um designed a figure that was a 3d canvas which is the dunny you know instead of artists drawing on a, a standard canvas the company created this canvas which is the 3d dunny figure and then people would just draw their styles on it their art as you can see here even though stitch is not my art um this is character design you know so i'm drawing stitch on here and um i don't think anybody's ever done a stitch dunny i could be wrong so this could be the first so this is a, a so through the whole video I'm gonna be using Posca markers and the base was with spray paint a matte finish so I can go with the matte marker. Um, I'm gonna be building the layers in this video, letting it dry, coming back. I think it took me two hours to do this, two and a half hours, um, but it was fairly fairly easy to run through this just because most of the base was blue and I was just doing the eyes and the nose, you know, the lips and the body. Stitch doesn't have too many details in his body besides his hands and his um his belly and his feet. So there you go. I slowed it down a little bit so you guys can see how when I want to add the, the my line work, how slow that I go. And I'm using a technical pen here. It's a, a Rapido Graph. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I think that's how you pronounce it, Rapido Graph. They're like $20 technical, technical pens. I had this pen, I think, for like seven years. And before that, I had one for like 12 years. Since I was like 14, they last quite some time. All you got to do is clean them and then refill them with ink. Um, and I love the way the ink comes out of them. Um, it's real fluid. And I like the way it flows. So that's the reason why I always use them when it comes to um, doing my outlines, especially when I'm doing 3d pieces, cause it's easy to paint on a canvas on a flat surface of painting on a curved, uh, curved surface takes a little bit more skill, but I've done hundreds of these, as I said in my previous video of these custom figures throughout the years. So to me, it's natural and I love, I really love doing these figures. They're really fun. And I love when, you know, when I get a request for like a figure like, hey, can you draw me, you know, Iron Man, SpongeBob but on these figures? It's one thing to draw it on paper, but to have it actually flow within the piece and give the figure a nice personality, that's where the character design comes in. So here I am coming in, just building up my lines. Um, once I laid those first coats down, um, I'll build up my lines and I'll come in at the end. And then like do a little bit more touch up on the areas that need you know more color so it can be really saturated and be solid. Um, I was gonna do a, a matte finish on this, but I was asked not to, you know. So I recommend that if you're going to be purchasing commissions for me, and you're going to be storing them without a a coat, a gloss coat, or a matte coat, they should be in a detail shelf or in some kind of a enclosed cabinet. 
because um, of the dust and, you know, the fingerprints and stuff um, that prevents it. But sometimes, you know, when you, when you do clear coat it, it does give it a different finish. And some people just like the matte look. So that is what um, I'm doing here. So right now I'm adding, you know, his little fingerprints, his claws. Um, just going with that whole cartoony flow. I would make it look more detailed with sharper claws. But, you know, this has more of a cute vibe, real simplified. Um so you don't want to add too many um, details into these pieces because then it would clash and it'd be all over the place. So here I'm coming in doing his ear. The, the ear for stitches, you know, is really open and wide. It has a little, you know, a cut in his ear, but I couldn't add that here. So I blended it in within the, the figure, staying true to the figure. You know, I could cut off the ears and then sculpt on stitches ears, but it will take away from the figure. So here you go. It's all done. Nice and simple stitch dunny. Ready to go to his new home. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video of my walkthrough on how I do my commissions and my and the painting process. Hope you got something from it. And if you're looking forward to customizing any of these figures, just check out their website. They have a money as well without the ears, a little cheaper. I think you can get those for like $40. Um, plus shipping and then they have the smaller dunnies for like they they range from anywhere from 10 to like 20 dollars depending on what kind they are because some of them are rarer than others you just go on ebay or you can go to their website and you can see more about them so thanks for watching